Suppose one day you made a new friend. And suppose your friend was from very far away, so he didn't know much about your world. Especially about how to do things safely, so you had to teach him. You could probably tell him quite a lot of things, like how to cross a street safely. And maybe you could tell him how to be safe with something else that can be really dangerous. Strangers. Since your friend wouldn't know anything at all about strangers, you'd have to start at the very beginning and tell him everything. He might not even know what a stranger is or what a stranger looks like. Suppose he asked you, is this what strangers look like? Do they have tails or pointed teeth? Do they wear t-shirts that say stranger on the front? Or carry signs that say stranger? Of course not. Strangers aren't any of these things. You'd probably tell your friend that strangers look just like the people you see every day. In fact, they are the people you see every day. Young people, grown-up people, old people. Strangers are simply people you or your parents don't know or don't know well. So if you've never seen this man before, then this man is a stranger. What if you have seen this woman before, but you've never talked to her? Then she's a stranger too. And suppose this man lives in your neighborhood. You say hello to him now and then, and even like him, but your parents don't know him. Is he a stranger? Yes, he is. No matter how friendly these people might be, they're all strangers. That's because your parents don't know any of them very well. When you do know someone really well, you pretty much know how that person will act toward you. The problem with strangers is that with them, you can never be sure how they'll act toward you. That's why, as far as strangers are concerned, your friend has some very important things to learn. For instance, suppose your friend is going somewhere, and someone he's never seen before stops him and talks to him. What should your friend do? The best thing you could tell him to do, especially if he's alone, is to not pay any attention to the stranger and just keep going. Sometimes that's easy to do, but sometimes it's not so easy. Again, suppose your friend is going somewhere and a stranger says to him, Hi there, what's your name? And suppose your friend just keeps on going as he should. The stranger might say something like, Hey, stop, I'm talking to you. It might be hard for your friend to know what to do if this happens but you should tell him he should still not pay any attention to the stranger. In fact, if a stranger gives your friend trouble, that's all the more reason he should just keep on going. But to show him how to really be safe, you'd need to teach him what to do no matter what a stranger does. For instance, suppose your friend was playing in a park and a stranger came up to him. But suppose the stranger didn't just want to talk to your friend. Suppose he asked your friend to go someplace with him. If a stranger did that, it could be extremely dangerous. So you'd need to teach him the most important rule of all. Never, never go any place with a stranger. But what should your friend do if a stranger asks him to go someplace? Your friend should not answer the stranger, but he should get away as fast as he can. He should go toward other people, so he's not alone. And then, when he's safe, he should tell an adult he knows everything that happened. Because it can be so dangerous if a stranger wants your friend to go with him, 
you need to teach your friend other things he can do to keep from ever having this kind of trouble. The main thing is to stay away from places where there are no other people around. Places like alleys, or the insides of empty buildings. If he's playing in the park, and the other children and adults all go home, leaving him alone, then he should go home too. But suppose your friend does everything he can to be careful. And suppose he does know he should never go any place with a stranger. There are still other important things he'd need to know. For instance, you'd want to teach him what to do if a stranger tries to use a trick. What if a stranger tried to trick your friend into liking him by being very friendly? Maybe he'd smile and say he thought your friend was very good looking or really good at doing something. You'd need to tell your friend that he would not have to be friendly to the stranger. Children usually should be polite to adults, but they don't always need to be polite to strangers. Or what if a stranger used another trick? Suppose he tried to order your friend to do something, or scare him into it. What if he told your friend to come with him, or else something terrible was going to happen? What should your friend do? The answer is simple. He never has to go any place with a stranger, no matter how the stranger says it. Your friend should still not answer the stranger, and should get away as fast as he can. There are a lot of other tricks strangers might use, too. Suppose someone told your friend that a puppy was lost and wanted him to come along to help find the puppy. Your friend might really want to help, but again, he shouldn't do it. He should never go with a stranger for any reason, even to find a lost pet. Or suppose a stranger offered your friend money to go with him, or candy, or ice cream, or a toy, if a stranger did this, it would really be a mean trick, because these are things that your friend might want a lot. In fact, he might want the thing so much that he might think about trying to grab what the stranger is offering and run away with it. Your friend should never try anything so dangerous. He might be quick, but the stranger would probably be quicker. Instead, what would be the best thing to do? Don't answer the stranger and get away fast. Here's another trick your friend should know about. Suppose a stranger in a car tried to trick your friend into going for a ride with him. Maybe he'd offer to let your friend play with a kitten or some other animal. You'd need to tell your friend one very important thing. Never get near the car. The stranger might try to trick him into coming nearer, maybe to get a better look at the kitten. Or the stranger might say, I can't hear you, come closer. But no matter what, your friend should stay far from the car and get away. Suppose a stranger in a car tries to trick your friend by telling him his mother is sick and that he should get in the car so they can go to the hospital. Should your friend go? Never with a stranger. Instead, he should get away and find out from an adult he knows if his mother is really sick. So by now, your friend knows that he should never go any place with a stranger. But he'd also need to know what to do when he needs help. Suppose he's in a shopping center and gets lost. And suppose a stranger comes up to him and says, Hi, come with me and I'll help you find your mother. Even then, your friend shouldn't go with a stranger. Instead, he should find a store clerk at a cash register and let the clerk help him out. Or suppose your friend needs help because of a stranger, because the stranger is bothering him. Again, he should go as fast as he can to a clerk in a store, or to a police officer, or to your house or even to another house where someone you know is home. The main thing is, he should always go where there are other people. But what if a stranger doesn't just bother your friend, but grabs him so he can't run away? Then he should yell as loudly as he can. 
and keep yelling so other people can hear him. If you thought of all these things to tell your friend, he'd know a lot about how to keep himself safe from strangers. And so would you. And the most important thing of all is simple. Never go any place with a stranger. <laughs>